today, man. No, not much. Not, not much. Today, man. Just hanging out, doing what I do. No, it's that's that's just keeping it going every day. Yeah, that's that's nothing new. No, no, no new news to report yet. Maybe some cool stuff coming soon though. But uh, nothing, nothing I'm allowed to talk about. Hi guys. Sorry. I think I think on Thursday works like hmm, we're gonna see how late we can make her. How's things? <laughs> so Fester's just missing in action. Yeah, I. <laughs> As long as it doesn't go to his head. So, guys, how's things going? Yeah, that's, that's all he talked about. I forget what he said he had. I'm like, you didn't bring me any mac and lobster? He's like, no. <laughs> Are these Rice Krispie treats? Nice. Energy treats. Energy oh, him. Yeah, him. Him infused. Mm-hmm. So, guys, what's new in the bike world? I followed them on Instagram. I love it. Uh, yes. It's awesome. So, and Eric Gordon is going to call in and tell us the builders coming for the Tropic Town Live Show. Um, and we're going uh, close to uh, 58 bikes so far. Uh, builders, I think 60 builders. And Nice. Who we got on? Who we got online? Oh, we got Johnny on the phone right now. <laughs> All right, Johnny, you're you're on. Johnny needs a disclaimer. I'm on, huh? Yeah, Johnny needs a disclaimer. PG language. <laughs> PG. What's that mean? I'm not familiar Tater, with that Tater, we have that bleep button. <laughs> I thought you had a seven second delay. I'm not. I need that seven seconds. You know. This is the NFL. <laughs> uh, okay, just checking. <laughs> right. Yes, that's the uh, PG version. Strip club choppers, <laughs> correct? So. So Treasure Fest is uh, not this weekend, but next weekend, February 5th through the 7th. It's at uh, Treasure Coast Harley-Davidson, which is in Stewart, Florida, over by West Palm and the Palm Beach area, so a real nice area. So we're pretty excited about that. We've got a free event, so we encourage everybody to come out. We've got uh, Nova Rex, our friends out of the Orlando area. They're playing. It's an 80s hair band. They're playing Friday night. Uh, and then Saturday night, we got Saving Abel playing good friends of mine, and uh, they're actually doing a live concert from the event. We'll be filming a video while we're there. So that's kind of exciting. So people who are not in Stewart or don't can't get over can watch the concert on Sessions Live. It's a, kind of a new concert thing they got going on because of the COVID. But uh, 
So that's exciting. We've got um, we got the Wall of Death. We got the Ives Brothers coming in. We've got a Tattoo Expo. Some of the guys from the Ink Show down in Miami are coming up and going to be doing the tattoos. We've got lots of vendors. We got a full bar. We got bike shows on Saturday and Sunday with Radical Randy, and he's also doing some emceeing for me. He's doing his Baggers and Tails show on Saturday. We got vendors, we got food trucks, we got full bar. So we got a few a few things going on. Of course, we've got the uh, 2021 Harley Davidson models being debuted with, with the Treasure Coast HD guys. So uh, we got a little something for everybody. Yeah, and you know, um, that location is really set up really nice to do it, but we're going to have back there a lot of room on the side for the building. Inside, they have the pirate ship, of course, but that's a good place to do it. Yeah, whoever built that place, they got it's kind of like a it's like a concert venue behind it, you know, with tiki huts and uh, there's a stage back there. And I brought in another stage because we needed a little bit larger one for the band. But uh, whoever built it, you know, designed it to have events, so it's really cool. So we're excited about that. We've got some secondary parking we just secured for cars, you know, for people that come in not not on bikes, but we we can accommodate you for that too. So we're uh, we're pretty excited about it, you know. We're starting to get back to normal, starting to have events, starting to have concerts, you know. So uh, we're excited. Uh, February 5th through the 7th, down in Treasure Coast, Harley-Davidson. Uh, Johnny, we're going to come out on Saturday. We're going to do a TV taping and uh, you know, take some photos from the magazine and social media. So we're excited to come out and cover it. Uh, we're going to be on Treasure and, 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 and Absolutely. And the guys from Saving Able are actually coming in today early on a tour bus to hang out. Uh, so they'll be there Friday night, actually, and hanging out. They're going to be selling some merch. And my buddy Scott Bartlett, the guitarist, he's got his own clothing line. He'll be there with his clothes. So if you want to come and meet the band early, you can come in and hang out with them, get your pictures taken, and then see them on Saturday. So that's kind of cool. You know, they, they had uh, three or four uh, really big hits. I think they sold nine million albums. You know, they, uh, they're a pretty, pretty legitimate band. You probably heard quite a few of their hits. But like I said, we're gonna, and we've got something special we're doing on the video. One of the guys from the band is going to drive up on the strip club chopper trike with girls dancing on it for the video. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we got some, we got some special shit planned. Uh, so that's one of the reasons they're coming in or, early. So, we, oops, I'm sorry. So we can. Uh, is that a bleeping word? So we, uh, <laughs> we're choreographing that. That's why they're coming in early. So that's cool. So they're going to be there early on Friday where people can actually kind of meet them, get a chance to get their merchandise early, maybe some autographs. Absolutely, take some pictures because they're not playing until Saturday, so they're they're coming in a day early. We're talking Treasure Coast, Harley Davidson, and Stewart, and that's uh, Friday, that's this weekend, but next weekend, Friday the fifth through the seventh. Wall of Death is going to be there. Not every place can get the Wall of Death, and that takes a lot. That's a lot to set that thing up. Those guys. Yeah, that's. That's the Ives brothers out of uh, out of uh, Georgia. They're they're good. I call them kids because. I've known them so. I knew them when they were little, like four, five years old, riding around on the globe up in uh, in Sturgis at the uh, old Full Throttle. That's how long now they're now they're grown up with kids and stuff. But uh, they're they're great guys. Well, you know, all those um, the drone guys, the Wall of Death people, are all generation after generation. Because if they don't do it, I think that it's really hard to get someone new just to come in and be a drone rider. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a definitely an acquired skill. I've got guys go, oh, I want to do that. I'm like, yeah, not so much. Yeah, that's, uh, that's something you, I mean, you, you really got to be able to ride and, you know, I mean, there's vertigo that you, you know, you get, I mean, it's, it's hard enough riding, let alone riding on a wall going sideways and maintaining your, you know, integrity. So it's a, it's a definitely an, an acquired skill. So man, you're pulling out all the stops, man. You know, the bands, the, the tattoo. Can we talk a little bit more about the tattoo? Because people are coming from all over the state just for this tattoo to uh thing okay. you're doing. Yeah. It's tattoo expo is what it is. It's a big 30 by 35 rig where these tattoo artists will be there and doing tattoos on people. Some of the famous guys out of Miami and stuff are coming in and it's actually the same agent that is the agent for Saving Able, and he and I have become friends. So he actually he's coming over because he normally does the Super Bowl parties for Shaq and um, Victoria's Secret. Well, obviously those were canceled this year. So he's like, hey, Johnny, I got the tour bus down and coming down to Florida. I'm just going to come over and hang out. I'm like, 
Okay. Nice. <laughs> Sounds good to me. He goes, you got room for another Prevost over there? I go, I'll make room, brother. Bring it on over. Uh, I hate <laughs> so, this. Uh, he's coming over. And we got some other shenanigans we're working on for the rest of the year. So, uh, But, uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm excited to have him over there. I'm excited to have the tattoo guys. And, it, and once again, it's all free. So come on down. Free concerts, you know, free, free uh Free admission for everybody, so we encourage you to come on by. Come on down, check out the new Harley 2021 models. They'll be available there. You know, they got got some great deals and some great financing. So, and we, that uh, that's a party in itself. These dealerships have been waiting for 2021s for about six months now, so they're pretty darn excited. So, a, a party is uh, a good thing to have. Have you have you seen personally any of the 2021s yet? Johnny? Oh, yeah, I was there. Uh, I dropped off the stage, the portable stage. I went and picked it up in Panama City and brought it down to West Palm, and I went and looked at some of the, the models. So mm-hmm. they, they got some really cool stuff, and you guys got to check them out. It's uh, it's going to be a good weekend, I think. Yeah, we heard, we heard they have great inventory there, so looking forward to it. Yeah, the colors are yep. really cool, too. Every year, Harley comes out with these cool colored names, and mm-hmm. you know they, they always kind of outdo themselves. But also, um, Rubenstein Law stepped up to the plate, and, and are they going to be there, too? Are they bringing Miss Liberty out there, their special bike they have? They, they are absolutely. They did step up big time. They are our sponsor, them and Twisted T, and we, we sure appreciate them jumping on board and, and um, you know, being part of our event, Rubenstein Law. Couldn't thank them enough, and, uh, you know, appreciate Ronnie helping us out with that. That was awesome, and, uh, and so we're looking forward to, uh, you know, helping everybody out. I was going to ask you too, Johnny. Is there um, any more vendor space? Because uh, vendors have been asking, can they still get a spot? Do they? Can they call you, or, or what do they I'm, have to I'm do? I'm pretty much maxed out, to be honest with you. I mean, you know, if somebody has something proprietary, in other words, you know, something unique that they, you know, that it's their own type of product, or they own, you know, that they, they, they don't have any competition, I might be able to squeeze them in. But we're pretty. We're pretty much booked up, you know. We got the leather and the jewelry and the clothing and the cigars and the, you know a lot of that stuff, mm-hmm. you know. So, we, I mean, I've I got a little space left, but not a heck of a lot. You know, mm-hmm. I don't want it to be overwhelmed with vendors. I want plenty of room for you know the bike shows and all the other activities we got going on. So awesome. So let's move on to man, bike weeks right around the corner, and and I think you've got some new news on on a new location that that you're working with in Daytona. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, I'm going to be out at the uh, the jam on uh, swap meet out on uh, Tomoka Farms Road there. I'm going to go out there and, and help those guys out. And, uh, I have a big strip club chopper set up out there. I'm debuting a new bike out there. I'll be signing posters. So we've got some new stuff going on, you know. It just uh, It's, uh, you know, bike week is always uh, uh, exciting because people debut all their new products and their new bikes. And, you know, uh, ho- hopefully we're finally turning the corner on the uh, – and the COVID situation, you know, where we can hopefully get back to normal and start doing some shows and getting back out there and hustling. So hopefully yeah. that'll be the case. Yeah, because, you know, once Halloween comes, then all of a sudden it's um, Thanksgiving, then Christmas, and all of a sudden New Year's, and then, bam, Bike Week is right in front of our faces. So it comes yep, up so quick. Got, Man. You made it the, sound yeah, like they it's they a roll, holiday. The, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, got the, they got the Rolex 24 going on, and then obviously Bike Week is is right coming up I mean, excuse me uh the daytona 500 is coming up very quickly and so uh yeah we're excited that they you know every, all the uh different uh, municipalities are just participating in bike week this year you know daytona is actually on board and issuing permits and they, i think ross has got some major concerts out there i believe buck cherry's out there so there's lots of stuff to do so we're hoping everybody comes down from, from up north and uh, everybody enjoys bike week this year yeah it should be really good but the the treasure coast that harley davidson uh, Stuart, um, Treasure Coast Harley Davidson, February fifth through the seventh, um, should be a really great weekend, and it actually is Super Bowl weekend, so I'm sure they're going to be showing the Super Bowl on Sunday. Yeah, well, I, you know, be honest with you, I, I'm a big football fan, as most people know. So I, uh, I it ends at five o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Super, Bowl's at, Super Bowl's at 6.30, so I want to get packed up and, you know, get over to a, get over to somewhere and have a couple of drinks and watch the game. So, so uh, that that was my plan. I'm not trying to compete with the Super Bowl, but right. I'm give you something to do before the game. Yeah, and that's a good way to put it, people. So you can get out of there, but you got to come there Friday, Saturday, and Sunday because there's stuff going on all, all the whole time. So you can get home in time to watch the Super Bowl. Johnny, give me a prediction. Who do you think's going to uh, – what do you think's going to happen in the game? 
Boy, oh boy. I, I mean, uh, you know, I, I lived in Tampa, as you guys know, for a decade. So uh, I am, and I was there when Tampa won their last Super Bowl. I went to believe it was 06, I thought, off the top of my head. And uh, it'd be nice to see them win it, you know. It would really be really cool to see these guys do it. And, uh, you know, because I think Mahomes has probably got another decade to go yet. Yeah. He's going to win a few more. So I'm hoping maybe uh, Tampa can get one here with Brady. Well, I think the stars are aligned, you know, with the Super Bowl being in Tampa, and they, they were the, you know, the road dogs that won on the road, and they're they're coming to Tampa, and it's just everything's lining up. It just seems like some kind of intervention, but uh, you know, they got to they got to beat a great team. Yeah, this Kansas City is they are they are a juggernaut, you know, so they got to. Tampa cannot make any mistakes, and uh, they can pull it off. But it'll, I, I'm, I just hope for a good game, and that's mm-hmm. what I hope for. I think it's going to be a great game, man. Mm-hmm. But man, we we really appreciate you calling in. Anything else going on coming up? I know you might be doing something in the Carolinas soon, or Falcons Fury Fest yeah. or something coming yeah, up too, Falcons right? Falcons Fury, that's up in Atlanta. That's uh, we'll get you some details on that. We're working on uh, booking some major bands for that one. I did it last year with them, so uh, that's up up in the Atlanta area in mid June. So we'll get some information on that. We'll get the Born to Ride involved in that. So. Yeah, that should be great. And what about after Bike Week in Florida? Any, I know Sturgis, you're oh, going to yeah, be I'll out right there, to, too. Gotta, yeah, I'll go shoot right over to Texas. i got a show in Bandera um, doing uh, over in the Hill Country. Then I'm over in Silsby, Texas, doing a gig with Saving Abel again, having my dancing girls. The dancing girls will be there. By the way, I'll ha- I have the girls from the Pennsylvania Pole Academy coming down to the show in Stewart. And they're awesome. be performing. Now, these girls are athletes. They're not, you know. These are competition pole girls? Competition pole, these right? Are, these are girls that work at a pole academy and teach mm. pole dancing. Wow. They well, are that, athletes. Be, they'll be there Saturday? They'll be there all weekend. Mm-hmm. And they, they are going to be in the video with Saving Abel. Oh, that's so. great, man. Uh, Johnny, you know what? I ask a lot of our guests, and you're you're kind of a true entrepreneur, you know, out there making things happen, leader, you know, a lot of success-driven mind, I'm sure. But but what has been your success to keep on keeping on? Or what's the secret to your success, Johnny? You just got to adapt. You got to adapt to whatever comes down the road, you know. I mean, I was, a, you know, making T-shirts back in the day and, uh, you know, quickly realized that I had to diversify and make parts and jewelry and other products. And then I started venturing into and event coordination and concert promotions and you know you got to continue to adapt and, and take on new challenges or you become stagnant you know what i mean and you, if you have a business plan and it's not working you've got to change it you know and uh make it work and be, you know diversify and have ideally you if you have multiple revenue streams that's the way, way to do it you know you get money from you know running the event from your vending from your sponsors from alcohol from you know, if you have multiple revenue streams, that's really key to success for me. Awesome. One other thing, strip club choppers. I know you're looking for different uh, people to open them up, like franchises or license agreements. Uh, how can they get in touch with you? Someone out there right now is listening. They're going to hear this show on different platforms. Strip club choppers. Yep. It's an amazing franchise in a fun world, in a direct market. How, what, how do they do it? Yep. Just go to stripclubshoppers.com and click on the franchise information, and then uh, my information's on there. My cell phone's on the website. So you can call me anytime. And it's, it's uh, you know, it's not for everybody, but it's for somebody. You know, so uh, <laughs> you know, it's. <laughs> well, we see those shirts everywhere, and, and whenever I see at the shows, they're lined up to buy your product. So, uh, so man, we keep... well, we appreciate you, Ronnie, and uh, not a lot of people probably know this. I knew, I knew Ronnie and Debbie when they used to date. So, uh, known, that's right. That's how long I've known those two. So, uh, that's right, man. For a long time. And, uh, Back then, we know, could and, both get into one pair of pants. No. De- De- Debbie had that. I remember Debbie had a red Springer soft tail. Oh, right? yeah. Yeah, 91 Springer. That <laughs> yeah. was awesome. Oh. Yep. I remember we spring that in the shop. And, uh, you know, so I've known these two for a long, long time. And they're, they're good people. Oh, and, uh, you too, Johnny. 
Yeah, man. I appreciate all their support over the years. So, well, uh, you know, who would ever think we'd still be running around doing this stuff? I know. Years later, I mean, you know? I know. And why wasn't I your first candidate for on the poll? What, what's up with that? <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> now, Debbie, you told me this was PG. Okay? Uh, <laughs> that way, right? It's competition. It's athletic. <laughs> you know, John, it's right. been it's been twenty five years with Born to Ride TV, and we're coming up on our thirteenth hundredth TV episode. So. We we have gained a lot of ground and and covered a lot of ground and you have too yeah. man it, it's good it's good to be working with you brother and we're looking forward to seeing yeah. you at the Treasure Fest Treasure Coast Harley Davidson February fifth through the seventh man thank you so much Johnny right, well, thank you guys appreciate it. have All a right. great night you all right brother thank Bye-bye. you all right uh, the chill girls are on the line but we're gonna take our bottom of the hour break. What a, what a oh, voice this guy's got, guy, man. <laughs> it, it's what I do. We'll be right back. I gotta do Ric Flair on that one. Woo! Check out the allnewbornride.com with radio, TV, industry, adventure, events, magazine, social media, and much more. It's the allnewbornride.com. Hi, I'm attorney Robert Rubenstein, and this is Rubenstein's Rules for Personal Injury. Rule number one. Get an attorney. When you or a loved one have been injured by another's negligence, an experienced attorney can make a huge difference. At Rubenstein Law, we will find all of the insurance, make sure your injuries are documented, and work to get you the best result. While each case is different, a well-known insurance company's own study showed people with a lawyer on average got more money. Call Rubenstein Law at 1-800-FL-LEGAL. Find us on Facebook, Born to Ride TV and Magazine. The ultimate multimedia biker experience. You can join the motorcycle enthusiast conversation at 863-225-2000. Now, here's more of your hosts, Fester Jenkins and Mama Dukes on Born to Ride Radio. Hey guys, we're back. Who we got on the line? Tater. We got the the chill girls, <laughs> the bunnies, hey, the bunnies, the, the chill, chill bunnies. bunnies. Hi, That's, ladies. Yeah, I know nothing. I just I just sound good. <laughs> so I said tater, so we could hear that voice. <laughs> so <laughs> fine. Deb wanted to say one thing before we start. What what did you have, Deb? Well, I just I heard the commercial come on from Rubenstein Law, and um, I just thought I'd throw in a public service announcement. You know, with everything going on with the pandemic and a lot of people not working. People will pay for their cell phone before they'll pay for their car insurance. So best thing you can do is take a look at your insurance policies right now. Make sure you have UM, which is uninsured motorist, because if one of those uninsured cars, automobiles or anything hits you on your motorcycle, you need recovery. So you need uninsured motorists to protect yourself. Look out for yourself. Look out for number one. Check those policies and it'll make your case a lot easier for Rubenstein to help you out. So. That was my PSA. All right, on to the the uh, chill yeah, bunnies. The, we got... wait, the only conversation in my house is dust bunnies, not chill. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm looking forward to meeting the chill bunnies. So we should have Danielle and Olivia. Yeah. Yep. Hey, yeah. All right. How are you guys doing tonight? We're doing good. We're doing good. Well, we're excited yeah. to have you guys on the show, buddy. And more than that, though, you guys are coming to Florida and. And you guys are in the Carolinas, so why don't you tell us a little bit about the Chill Bunnies first, and we'll get into the other stuff. Oh, right on. Yeah. Um, the Chill Bunnies started in North Carolina, and lately it's kind of expanded all over. Now it's kind of um, all over the country. I mean, it's a bunch of girls that enjoy the same thing. We're not a riding group. We don't claim to be any of that. We're more of just the girls that love the same lifestyle, whether it's riding vans, bikes, being on the back of your man's bike, just digging the lifestyle. That's what we're all about at the end of the day. We just enjoy the same thing and we get together, we hang out, support each other and we have a rad time. And it's just, it's cool to have an environment like that. And, um, yeah, we just keep it chill, I guess. <laughs> so you, you said chill, but tell me what, how, who created it and how did you create it and why? It started, um, honestly, as like a joke, to be honest. Um, Jason actually started with his friend, uh, his group called the Chill Billies. 
And, you know, the, we were joking around one day about it and we're saying, oh, chill bunnies, you know, snow bunnies, chill bunnies. And we're joking about it. And then one day, you know, with COVID and everything, we decided to have an, a, like an event to where we could help support local businesses in the motorcycle community and um, help them, you know, with the hard times of COVID and create like free advertisement for them. So we had people come out with their motorcycles and we had photographers come out. We had, you know, a makeup artist that was still in school come out and we had a big photo shoot. We had the girls um, with their husband's bikes or, you know, whatever. And we did shoots with their products and it just started to become a page of support, supporting each other in hard times. And it kind of grew from there because once we put the photos up, it just, it just blew up. It was, it was like wildfire. And, um, since then it, it, we kind of just decided, you know, Hey, this is cool. And a lot of girls are, you know, giving positive response about it. So let's keep this positivity going and let's create a positive community to where it's not just for girls that ride, not just for girls that ride vans or, you know, it should be for everyone. It should be for the girl that's on the back of their man's bike because they love that lifestyle just as much as anyone else. So kind of want it to be accepting to all. And it's just that whole um, thing that we stand for and we're about has just grown like wildfire. Now we have girls all over the country, like Texas, Idaho, Utah, South Carolina. It's, it's wild. It's, it's unbelievable because it all just started a few months ago. Well, it's, so it sounds like not only are you, you know, a group, organized group now, but you're really um, giving back to the community as well, too, and in and, and different chapters, different areas. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's really cool, like, giving back, and that was, you know, that's how it started, and that's how I intend it to still be. Um, we definitely don't compare ourselves to anything of the Lita's or any of that. They, those are some rad girls, and I give them so much credit, but... Um, you know, we, we are definitely don't have chapters or anything of that nature. Mm -hmm. We just have a group chat and we talk about our ideas and what we love. And, and right now we were just talking about today, you know, coming up with doing like a, a seventies roller rink party where, you know, it, all the money for the tickets will go to, you know, a charity of some sort or somebody that's, you know, really suffering from COVID and, you know, it's hard times. Mm -hmm. And, and we got to stick together and we got to help each other out, especially in our community. Now, were you girls even born in the 70s? <laughs> <laughs> I might have, to, I I might have to school you on how to handle that event. Sorry. <laughs> the old mom, old mom here. <laughs> She's the mom chill bunny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm up there too. <laughs> I'm more like the chill rabbit. Yeah. <laughs> The chill rabbit will have to school you girls about the 70s. So, uh, but oh, you, you, go ahead. You can give us all the notes. Please do. My parents grew up in the 70s. And honestly, like, I think it's the coolest thing going through their books and going through their clothes. Like, I just, I have all the envy. So, you know, we really dig that style. There's, there's a lot of people out here that do too. It's really cool. What about the 60s? <laughs> I mean, the sixties are cool too. <laughs> I did. Um, I did see the other day at a local store here uh, in the Plant City area. Actually, it's called Ray Oak, which stands for Random Act of Kindness. It's a really cool store, and they give back to a lot. And uh, they had the coolest pair of hip hugger white bell bottoms, and I'm like, I can Ooh. squeeze in those. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that was uh, that. That's gonna be fun. Uh, good for you guys. That's that's really cool. So you're going to join us in February at Thunder by the Bay. You looking forward to coming down to Florida? Oh, uh, yeah. I've actually never been to Sarasota. I think we're both excited. Oh, oh yeah, for sure. Awesome. How, how many are coming down? Oh, um, Olivia, how many people do we have coming with us? I think it's, it's honestly been growing. <laughs> um, it has been growing, like, a lot. A lot of people have been saying, you know, we're going to try our best, and, you know, we'll let you know in a few more days you know so but i know that we do have a pretty good amount of girls coming from our group so, so we're not exactly sure what the end total will be but it'll be a lot of us probably so it'll be a good meeting place everyone you know coming to florida is cool but sarasota even the beaches and 
You know, it's a good oh, meeting place. Plus, Thunder by the Bay is a rally that's been going on for 23 years, and that's where we're doing Chopper Town. And you guys are going to be a big part of Chopper Town. Eric Runyon is so excited to to make the connection with you guys and have you coming out. And and matter of fact, we're probably seeing pictures of you guys right now on the screen because we're you're broadcasting now. So we're we're people are getting to see who you guys are now. You got a pretty good social media following you got a good following you're building it too how how is that working for you and and how can people see more of you guys i mean it's grown like wildfire and i never in a million years thought that it would go this way this is never the plan but um it's it's grown so much and i'm really proud of it and i'm proud of the girls and um i definitely (laughs) intend to have more projects down the road um, you know, with the Billies and with Power and Sound, um, with Olivia. And I think there's definitely going to be more things to come. And, you know, man, projects and collaborations. And speaking of, like, collaborations, you know, the Midnight Cobras, we we owe a lot of thanks to them. They have been our mentors. They have been our support. And, you know, Florida wouldn't be happening if, you know, it wasn't, if it wasn't for them. So now who's this? The mid, Midnight Cobras? Together. Mm-hmm. What, what, are, what are they about? They are, I'm surprised you haven't even heard of them. These are some rad killer chicks um, out in Canada. Oh, Boston Eric did tell Canada. us about them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're, they're some rad, rad women and they're very inspiring and just amazing women in the community. And, they have been honestly like big sisters to us and they've definitely opened doors and helped us grow. So you'll definitely see some things um, with us all together and some more projects down the road for sure. But we definitely plan to grow more and hopefully, you know, make people feel welcome and be a part of it all. Now throughout the different States about, do you, do you have like a guess about how many girls are involved in the chill bunnies? Um, right now, my total guesstimate, it'd be eight or nine. And, um, they're, they're just the coolest six I've ever met. And they're so supportive and kind. I mean, Rachel out in Idaho, she, she built her bike. She built it, what, six years ago? And that thing is sick. And Ray out in Texas, she's a part of a van group. And it, she's, she's just straight fire that girl is awesome we have katie who is our little daredevil erin who i've known for a long time and she she is she's smart as a whip when it comes to bikes sydney is just pure rock and roll amazing digital artist olivia the mastermind of you know she's creating a whole music festival out in north carolina and she's 18 you guys this girl is a mastermind. And that, that's what we're going to talk to Olivia about next. Yeah, we need to hear more about that. So so yeah. you guys even have yeah. someone in Utah. Oh, God, yeah. Who, who's in Utah? Tell me about that one. Sydney. Sydney is all the way out in Utah. She, we actually met her. She flew all the way to North Carolina. I've never met her before. She flew all the way out here to one of the Chill Billy Chopper events. We had a chopper camp out. And she flew all the way out there, and that night that I met her, she got a Chill Bunny tattoo. Oh, that's <laughs> too cool. Oh, yeah, she's, she's rad. Oh, uh, I love the barbed wire around the tattoo. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I, I like it, too. You know, it's cute, but it's also tough. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you guys do when you're not riding? Or not Chill oh, Bunny. Yeah. Not Chill Bunny. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, just hanging out. I mean, we all hang out together. We went, we all hung out today and we went thrift store shopping. Thrift store. I like that. <laughs> what's your, what's the age group between all of you guys? What's it range from? Yeah. Good question. Gotta be from like 18 to 30, late thirties. Oh yeah. We're way oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're, 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 Can you we're, squeeze two more in? <laughs> yeah. We got Debbie and Mama Dukes here. They're ready to be chill bunnies. <laughs> I'll give you, I'll, when we come down, I'll give you guys some shirts for sure. Because, oh, yeah. it, again, it's for everyone. You guys are definitely some chill buddies. <laughs> awesome. Well, it's such a cool name. So it's got chill in it. Does that mean you're, like, chilling? Chill, uh, like, yeah. chill out. Like, <laughs> hanging out, like chilling out. <laughs> chilling out in your van. Chilling out, chill, like, cop, shopper, camp out. 
Yeah. We could take advantage of this. We could join join it and then we'd be able to just kick back and tell like Ron and Fester we're chilling. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Chill, we we, we have anything. to practice our yes. new job. <laughs> right. We're in there, ladies. <laughs> well tell us about the chill billies. Now what are what do they do? What do they like to do? Do they do all of you like to do things together too, I imagine? Bunnies um, and billies. Billies are pretty they're pretty cool. Um I'm actually looking at Jason right now who started all of that and um you know the chill billies is definitely evolving and growing um but the cool thing is about them is what it all started from was good friends that just wanted to hang out and ride and that's what it was about and it still is about that and you know i think jason just wants to have a good community of good friends that all share the same common you know now, idea in the same love of the lifestyle are they spread out as much as you ladies are or is it um, just I think, it's, I think you know since it's definitely changing and it's it's growing i think that there's gonna be more all over for sure <laughs> that's cool o- olivia are you there oh yeah i'm here uh, i'm just listening in <laughs> tell us about the music festival you're putting on because we talked earlier today and it really sounded like you got something good coming up yeah yeah i'm uh currently planning a music festival that will have a car bike and van show it'll be uh out here in north carolina it'll be held at the piedmont dragway in julian north carolina it's going to be on may 22nd of this year and it's just basically going to be music cars bikes vans camping you know food trucks all kinds of vendors that are, you know, in the culture that will be selling cool shirts. The Chill Bunnies and Billies will be hosting the bike portion of the event, and it's just going to be a good time, I think. And what, when is this? It's May 22nd, 2021. Now, do you guys have a Facebook page or anything on a website where people can uh, find out more about that so they can make plans or maybe support it, be a vendor, or any information? Oh, yeah, we- we have a Facebook page. It's pretty simple to find. It's Power and Sound Revival. We have an Instagram. We have a website. It's just Google Power and Sound Revival, and it all should just pop up right there. Now, you guys are very active with social media. How, how's that working for you? It's working great. I think I've learned a lot from uh, Danielle just from managing a social media page because the Chill Bunny is obviously, as you know, I mean, they have a huge following, and she's taught me a lot about how, how to network and do social media, so it's growing pretty good. How important is sisterhood to you? Oh, it is huge. Uh, Danielle, I met her back at probably the middle of summer, and she has been one of my biggest supporters as far as the festival goes and my mom actually is also helping me plan the festival and she's a huge supporter. So the whole sisterhood thing, the chill bunnies, it's great to have that support system behind you because it makes the hard days so much easier to deal with. Now we have some photos that's popping up on the screen. I don't know if you ladies are watching or not, but there's, there's a picture. Let's see here. This one's got one, two, three, four, five, seven of you guys in it. Um, Mm -hmm. Is this, is this Rachel, Kate, Aaron, Olivia, Sydney, all in these photos? That, that is not all of the chill bunnies that are spread out across the state. That's kind of more of the local people who are kind of interested in the community and kind of are love the kind of 70s chopper lifestyle. That was from one of the photo shoots that we did probably a month, two months ago. So that's not all the official chill bunnies, but that are those are some of the girls that we do hang out with and chill bunnies. Now, if somebody wanted to become a chill bunny, um, how do they go about that? There's a hazing. Do <laughs> you have to probate? Hey, well, have, there's an age limit. Yeah. You, you have to eat a bunny. Yeah, you have to eat a bunny. And, is that what she said? And you, how many dust bunnies can you? <laughs> and you sweep? I thought maybe you'd just like put somebody on the, in front of, you know, on a hay bale in front of a fire pit and just say chill. Uh, let me just see how you see chill. See how long they can chill. Yeah, that's right. Moonshine and chill. How long can chill? you chill? <laughs> how long no. can you chill? So how do they get in there? How, how do they pass the test? 
I'm going to let Danielle answer to that know one. Them. I didn't really have and... a hazing ceremony. <laughs> I was just kind of found Danielle to be a cool chick. And she dig, dug me, and we just started hanging out. And she just kind of asked, you want to be a chill bunny? I'm like, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to be a cool chick. Wait, are we cool? <laughs> yeah. Are we still cool? <laughs> I mean, maybe if you don't ask our kids, we right. are. But I think we're still cool. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> I know how to hashtag. Yeah. <laughs> I am cool. <laughs> I've got the cool factor. Yeah. I've got a Me Snapchat. <laughs> I've got filters too. Hey, I've got MySpace. <laughs> wah, wah. <laughs> See, you blew it. Not really. Yeah. Oh, you gosh. just have to show it with bunny ears. <laughs> oh, that's cool. So when people come to Sarasota... What what, do you, what are they going to be in for when they meet you guys? And oh. you, you're going to be there set up, meeting and greeting? Or? I, I already feel the yeah, atmosphere. Yeah, I know. The... They're going to be all over the hot rod trucks. They're going to be all over the cool bikes. They're going to be, everybody's going to go, wait, take a photo with me. It's probably going to be awkward as I'll get out. <laughs> We're going to be hanging out and chilling with everyone and, you know, we'll have our swag there, but honestly, we're just there to meet everyone and see everything and talk to everyone and just have and, a good time. And bring the vibe to the event, because this, this is the event for that kind of vibe. Are no you guys doubt. bringing any motorcycles? Some of you guys riding or bringing them down I or what? Actually, our good friend Peanut is bringing his bike down, and I know there might be at least one or two vans coming down. Cool. Sweet. That'll be nice. You can camp there, you know. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. <laughs> I might make Jason camp there. I uh-huh. got a hotel room, but maybe I'll make him camp. <laughs> stay in the van. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> so, like, when you're not doing other stuff, do you guys have jobs? Like, what kind of stuff do you do? Oh, yeah. Um, I actually have my own salon. It's called Urban Gypsy. Um, I actually started, I sold my bike to start you know, chasing another dream of mine, which was having my own salon because I was tired of working for the man. <laughs> but, um, there you go. I, uh, I opened my own salon right before everything got shut down. Oh. And it oh, sucked. That was the worst time for salon owners, yeah. for sure. Yeah, and you know what? I cried a lot whenever I saw pictures of my bike on social media. That's mm. like, you know, I literally cried a lot because <laughs> mm. it couldn't go right. <laughs> I was like, this is the worst idea ever. Oh. But, Are you back but open? Cool, though. Mm-hmm. I'm definitely back open, and it, it's slowly growing. I mean, North Carolina, you know, it, 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 it's, it's, a, it's, it's, you know, it's like every other state. It's pretty bad. I mean, but, you know, you got to make do. You got to wear your mask. You got to follow, you know, your safety protocols and keep it safe as you can for your customers and, mm-hmm. you know, as safe as you, as you can for yourself and, um, I mean, it's going, and I think I think I'm seeing it start to grow more, and I'm pretty excited. I'm definitely I'm I'm proud that I've survived 2020 first year mm. of my salon in a pandemic. Mm. <laughs> so you're a hairdresser as well. I am uh, eight years. And do you have other um, people rent spaces? How does that work? Oh no! Luckily, I was smart and had my own studio suite. So mm-hmm. with dealing with COVID. It's great because my clients can feel extremely safe because mm-hmm. it's just me. Well, that's awesome. It seems like you're an entrepreneur and nothing can hold you back. Uh, what about Olivia? What does Olivia do? Yeah, I'm a I'm actually a photographer, believe it or not. I'm I do mostly music photography and kind of focus on uh, you know, the culture that we're in as well, the car and bike culture and just that whole thing. Um, of course, I guess I'm a music promoter now, too, because I'm planning the festival, mm-hmm. and I also book music with my mom. We have a company together where we book local acts and bands and artists from around here. So what's that's what's that company my, called? It's called the Rockingham Company. And how cool is that, working with your mom on something like that? That, that really brings oh. you together. Oh, yeah, for sure. I, I mean, I'm not ashamed to admit it. My mom's probably one of my best friends, and I love working with her. And she is, she's probably one of the coolest moms. Danielle can attest to this. She is a cool mom. Well, <laughs> I want to be my mom. Totally kidding. I love you, mom. <laughs> <laughs> I just see where um, Eric Runyon said he invited Builder Rebel Spirit 
is coming from North Carolina with his wife, who's a chill bunny. Yeah, they're some rad people. Yeah. They're awesome. They're going to be at Power and Sound as well. And yeah, they're going to have their burnout pit at Power and Sound, and they're going to be setting up a booth and stuff. So, yeah. Michelle Williams just said hello from North Carolina, and then she said um, Power and Sound Revival, May 22nd, 2021. So she must have Yeah, that's it. my mom. Okay, Hi, okay, Hi. there she is. Hi, Hi, <laughs> and, but Olivia, jumping back to that event, tell us a little bit more about the music there. What's uh, Is it like all day, all night type concerts, live concerts, or... Yeah, it's going to be an all-day music festival. It starts at 12. The gates open at 12. The music starts at 1, and the music will end at 11. And, I mean, it's going to be acts from North Carolina and regional acts. Uh, the headliner is going to be Them Dirty Roses, and then a few other bands will be playing, like 49 Winchester, uh, Whiskey Foxtrot, Tennessee Champagne. Crenshaw, Pentecostal, and a few other bands that are listed on the poster. But, yeah, it's, I love music, obviously, because I photograph it, and I'm around it all the time. So that's mm-hmm. kind of what made me want to do a music festival. So I love it. <laughs> what, a, what a great uh, great idea, great combination. So you, you yeah, have I no mean, fear. You just went out and made it happen. Pretty much. I pretty much put all my yeah. favorite things together i'm like okay i'll i'll make the perfect event for me and just hope other people will like it (laughs) now um danielle you said one of your chill bunnies she's actually a um, builder a bike builder as well she built her bike yeah okay got it but it came in boxes she built the whole thing i'm really proud of her this chick and she does hair too (laughs) Oh, that's, cool. <laughs> that's the perfect combination you can build your own bike and look damn good on it yeah your yeah, dude is looking girl, good girl. when you're driving down the road <laughs> riding down the road <laughs> when you have that helmet hair I'm, I'm sure you girls could just like whip up a new do and look good i wish <laughs> <laughs> that'd be nice if someone can actually like conquer that can they let me know their secret <laughs> the helmet That'd hair dude. Yeah. Uh, well that's good so what um what did what got her inspired into um building bikes or to build the bike what motivated her to do that she worked for harley davidson mm-hmm. and um and you know a lot of these girls that i'm meeting you know are working in you know for harley davidson or other you know bike businesses and all that and i think a lot of these women are just kind of getting tired of you know kind of just being second guessed about like their knowledge or anything. And she just really was like, you know what, I'm going to do this. Mm -hmm. And she did it. And I mean, she, she's, she's, she's something special. And, and I'm, I'm really proud of her. And unfortunately her Instagram with all, you know, her stuff got um, deleted or whatever. So she has her hair page now, but I'm definitely excited to be showcasing her work and really, you know, supporting what she's doing. And she was just, I really wanted her to come out, but with it being, you know, short notice for everything, Mm -hmm. um, it's a little hard to get all the cross country girls out here, but you guys might see her soon. Mm -hmm. So Danielle, you, you went out and made it happen. You started your own uh, hairdressing business salon and, you know, and When all else failed, you just did what you felt normal or natural. What do you have to say to inspire other people to just move, get away from the man, like you said, and and do your own thing? What what, what kind of inspiration would you give someone now? I just tell people to go do it. You know, I I told my friend last night at the bar, I was like, man, you you will never be happy if you do not chase your dream. And if it means you have to ball on a budget or... You know, you have to move back home with your parents or, you know, you can't have that mansion. But if you're chasing your dreams and doing what you love, you'll always be happy. You'll, you'll have no regrets. That's awesome. Keep chasing that dream. Listen to your gut. Mom, oh. I'm moving back home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. When I, when I quit my, first, my hair salon that I was working for before I opened my business, I quit that day. I went to my parents. I dropped on the floor, bawled my eyes out, said, I'm done working for the man, Mom. I've got to do something else. I wonder if I can do that to Fester. That's awesome. Fester, yes. Oh, Let's try Olivia, that. Olivia, why don't you uh, give, me, give me your answer to that? How do you inspire others to just go out and make it happen like you did? Like the oh, chill bunnies. Gosh. I mean, 
I mean, I'm still pretty young, so I'm not sure how wise my words can be here. She's but wise. I mean, pretty much what Danielle said, you know, if you have something that you're passionate about and you want to go do it, it's, it's the kind of old cheesy thing, but, you know, if you love it, just go and do it, follow your dreams kind of thing. It's, you know, if you have to be broke to go and do it, then go do it. you got to make your priorities, you know, realize what you're passionate about and what makes you happy at the end of the day and, like, what makes you sleep at night. So great, great, go do it. Great job. Danielle and Olivia, we're coming to the end of the show. If somebody wanted to follow you, social media, I know you have Instagram. I follow you. Um, <laughs> do you have Facebook, anything else? Where, how, how would they follow you? <laughs> I guess just, you know, our Chill Bunny page, Power and Sound. Um, We do have a Chill Bunny Facebook page. Um, It's not as active. Um, We definitely use Instagram more, but (laughs) you can find us on there. Um, You can go through it and just click on the pictures and decipher who to, and you can find our personal one. But, yeah, just Chill Bunny's Power and Sound. (laughs) Well, thank you, ladies, so much. Looking forward to seeing you guys. Mm-hmm. Soon. I can't wait to hang out with you guys. I'm yeah. excited. <laughs> Looking forward to it. I'm going on a fast. We're going to get us some bunny ears. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I better start fasting, yeah. too. <laughs> In the gym. Here we come. <laughs> All right. So, um, I'm in bed cream. by nine, buddies. Wrinkle cream. <laughs> let, let us know one more time at where they, they're going to see you in uh, Sarasota. Cut a little promo real quick before we leave. One, two. That we're going to be in Sarasota? Yeah, yeah tell the <laughs> like, people what they got to come see Ready? you. One, two, three, go. Okay, guys, you got to come see us at Sarasota. Chopper Town Live. Come chill with the chill bunny. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> you guys rock so hard. We can't thank you enough. <laughs> All right. All right, we'll definitely have to catch up again before. Chopper Town, we're going to have you guys back. and Bring your sunscreen. We're, we're ready. Have fun at the beach. Oh, we yeah. also want to say thank okay. you for, to Johnny from Strip Club Chopper. Yeah, yeah thanks for awesome calling too. in. Treasure and best. and nice. Eric Runyon for putting us all together. Yes. That's right. What a great guy. Thanks, Eric. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> thank Good you, show. guys. So, Tater, what do you think, man? It's a fast hour. Uh, Yeah. Tater. Uh, no, Tater saying we need like you to end the show minutes. with that voice. Like, well, what, what do you Boss Hog Radio, oh, Born to, to Ride Magazine. He's trying to talk no. even lower now. No. Like right, so, uh, everybody tune in next week to Born to Ride Radio on Boss Hog Radio. And uh, good night. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Sweet My dreams. darling. Can't get enough of your love, baby. <laughs> if Instagram is your thing, we're there. We're everywhere. Follow us at hashtag Born to Ride Motorcycle Media, your number one motorcycle resource. Yeah, I have to say, Born to Ride has been a big influence on my trailer sales in the last two or three months. It's been nothing but a big surprise. I mean, the magazine articles, everything in the commercials, it's been nothing but the best of help to me in my business. Is your business becoming invisible? Create a great advertising relationship today with Born to Ride. Call 888-795-5779. This is the Boss Hog Radio Network, 11